Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. A night of wonders, a night of miracles. Normally, after giving the first message like that, then the second message we give, and then we hurry up, hurry up, and then we are gone. But this message, this one, we're not going to hurry up. Because greater miracles are coming your way. After this message, we're going to pray miracle prayer. Candidates of miracle, are they still there? You get it in Jesus' name. And then normally on Sunday, after Sunday scripture and seminars and all that, then we give what we call Sunday message. Tomorrow's message is not Sunday message. Tomorrow's message is miracle walking message. And so, you've got one, you are getting number two now, you are getting number three tomorrow. With all the three, you will not escape miracle. When you stand, miracle will stand with you. Where you are sitting, miracle will sit with you. And when you are going back home, miracle will be your partner in Jesus' name. Miracle for every day. I said miracle for every day. So after this message now, we will wait a little bit because testimonies are coming. And then tomorrow, wonderful day. Wonderful day. Tell your neighbor there now, wonderful day. Tell my sister there, wonderful day. Tell my brother there, wonderful day. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this hour. Lord, you are the God of miracle. And your people come tonight face to face with the God of miracles. And I pray nobody will miss their miracle in Jesus' name. Speak to your people. While the message is going on, all problems melt away in Jesus' name. And when we stand praying, everything we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Everything we release and loose on earth is released and loose in heaven in Jesus' name. Confirm your mighty power in everybody's life. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. This session, we're looking at the message face to face with the Almighty. Face to face with the Almighty. When we say face to face, it means there's a relationship. It means there's a closeness. It means there is an intimacy between us and the Almighty God. And as we talk about face to face with the Almighty, you are not far away, you are near. And you are looking at the Almighty like this, and the Almighty is looking at you. And because all the walls of partition are broken down, all the walls of separation are broken down, and you are close to God, you are intimate with God, you are related to God, you are reassured by God. Face to face, a miracle will happen to you. We're looking at Exodus chapter 33, verse 11. Exodus 33, verse 11. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face. That's it. And the Lord spoke unto Moses face to face. That's why you'll find that Moses was very different from any of the children of Israel. Because those children of Israel, he took them time before they came face to face with the Almighty God. When Moses was face to face with the Almighty God, his face was shining. Your face was shine. Your life was shine. Your business will shine. 
everything you lay your hands upon will shine in Jesus' name. Face to face with the Almighty. We're looking at Deuteronomy chapter 34. Deuteronomy chapter 34, when you come face to face with the Almighty, there'll be a kind of power, mighty power, great power, miracle working power that takes place post your life. Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 10. And there arose not a prophet since in Israel, like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. You see that confirmation again. The Lord knew this Moses face to face. Look at this in verse 11, the result of that. And in all the signs and the wonders, when you come face to face with the Lord, the result will be signs and wonders. Tonight, that sign will come upon your life. The wonders will come upon your life in Jesus' name. It says in all the signs and the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land and in all that, that mighty hand and in all the great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all Israel, all Israel, all Israel. And there's something beautiful about the life of Moses. He had that special experience of face to face with God. He had that peculiar experience of face to face with God. And then he endeavored to bring Israel face to face with God. You see, it's uh, wonderful when a minister, a leader, a pastor, an evangelist knows God face to face. And then he can bring the whole congregation face to face with the Lord. That's what Moses did. Look at Numbers chapter 14, verse 14. Numbers chapter 14, verse 14. Numbers 14, verse 14. Are you there? I said, are you there? Numbers 14, verse 14. And they will tell each to the inhabitants of this land. For they have heard people will hear about you. They will hear about your miracle. For they have heard that thou, Lord, art among these people, the Lord will be with you. That thou, Lord, art seen face to face. That these people of Israel, it's not only me that sees God face to face. It's not only myself that can see God face to face. That all these people of Israel that you have, they have seen you face to face and that thy cloud standeth over them and that thou goest before them by day, by daytime in a pillar of a cloud and a pillar of a fire by night. What the Lord is doing for us this weekend is that it will not be one man or one woman. It will not be only the leaders and the pastors. But all of us will come face to face with the Almighty. It will happen to you. When God comes to you and you come to God and you are face to face with the Almighty, no problems again. No sickness again. No infirmity again. No impossibility in your life anymore in Jesus' name. And so get ready now, get ready now. It's not just one person. It's not just a few people. All of us, each of us, this moment, you want to come face to face with the Almighty. Say, I'm coming face to face with the Almighty. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. There are three things we're going to look at very quickly. Number one, the power of the Almighty. The power of the Almighty. Number two, the promise of the Almighty. 
the promise of the Almighty. Number three, our prayer to the Almighty. The power, the promise, then our prayer. The power in combination with uh, the promise will then explode in your life. And when you pray tonight face to face with the Almighty, you will not be denied in Jesus' name. Number one, tell me number one. The power of the Almighty. We're looking at Jeremiah again, chapter 32. What's the measure of God's power? What's the extent of God's power? What are the possibilities of God's power? Think about that in your life. When you see the extent of God's power, when you see the depth and the height of God's power, when you see the measure of God's power, then you put that side by side with the problem you have, that problem will vanish away. Gen Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 17. Jeremiah 32 verse 17. And Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth. He has made the heaven and the earth. He created the world out of nothing. There was no material thing, and yet he created the whole world. There is a miracle of creation going to take place in your life tonight. Where any part of your body has been missing, there was an accident. And that part of the body already gone. And then they say, you live like that, you stay like that. A creative miracle, God is going to create that part of the body in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Think about whatever you have lost. That thing you have lost, God will create it. And Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretch out hand and there is nothing too hard for thee in my life there is nothing too hard for god say that in my life there is nothing too hard for god are you barren in your family there is nothing too hard for god are you jobless in your life there is nothing too hard for god do you bring your child and the child is deaf in your family or that child? There is nothing too hard for God. Anybody blind there? There is nothing too hard for God. Or you're going on dialysis. They say that your livers are no more working. Tonight is your night. Those dead livers will come alive tonight because in your body there is nothing too hard for God. It is done in Jesus' name. HIV virus trying to destroy your life and will not allow you to get married, you will get healed. You will get married. You are weak now, you'll be strong in Jesus' name. Because in your life tonight, there is nothing too hard for God. Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 37. Luke chapter 1. Reading from verse 37. The power of the Almighty. The power of the Almighty. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. We're looking at this and it says in verse 37, For with God... Nothing shall be impossible. For with God here tonight, nothing shall be impossible. With God, where I am sitting there tonight, nothing shall be impossible. I try to bend myself, but it appears difficult and impossible. There tonight, you will bend, everything will be all right. You couldn't stand, you are going to stand tonight in Jesus' name. Arthritis and pains and that your knees cannot bend, tonight they will bend. Your elbows, your shoulders, they are stiff because of all these pains racking your body. Tonight, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. You've taken this problem to this, to this, to that, everywhere. Tonight is your night of visitation. I said tonight is your night of visitation. 
For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Tonight is your night. Because we come face to face with the Almighty. Face to face with the Almighty. Point number two, the promise of the Almighty. The promise of the Almighty. When God promises anything, He's able to do what He has promised. There's no weakness with Him. There's no lack with Him. Any spare part of the body you need, all the parts are in heaven. When you, whenever you, you have any part of your body damaged, if your hand is damaged, enough spare parts are there. If your legs are damaged, enough spare parts are there. If your whatever part of your body is damaged, all the spare parts are there. Receive yours right now in Jesus' name. You know, sometimes uh, you have a car. And then some parts of the car, this one is worn out. That one is worn out. That one is worn out. And so the car is not working. It's not functioning very well anymore. You take that car to the place where you got it. And then they will remove all the other parts that are no more working. And they put some new ones there. When you bring that car out, it appears the car is new all over again. The same thing with your body. That part is not functioning. That part is degenerated. That part is worn out. That part is broken. That part is blind. That part is anemic. That part is impotent. Then we take it to the maker tonight. Who is the maker? We take it to God tonight, and all the parts that are not functioning, He'll flush them out and replace them with new ones tonight in Jesus' name. The promise, the promise of the Almighty. We're coming back to this chapter 32 of uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 32. Jeremiah chapter 32. You said, but we read that before. Yes, I know we read that before. Don't you see what those people that dig for oil, what they do? You see the farmer, the farmer will just get to that place and only weed the surface and plant something. He only gets corn or rice. But the miner, those who are doing mining and they're looking for oil, they don't just sweep the surface, they stay there and dig it and dig it, and then they get oil, they get something more than the farmer who just went over it. That's why we're coming back to this again. We're going to get oil here. We're going to get prosperity here. We're going to get healing here. We're going to get deliverance here. All the people that just walked on the surface and they went, they have not discovered something. We're going to make a discovery here in Jesus' name. Jeremiah chapter 32, I'm reading from verse 17 again. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, stretched out arm. Remember face to face. When you are face to face with somebody, you are near that person. And you are looking face to face like this. If he stretches out his hand, the hand will touch you because you are face to face together. And here you come face to face with the Almighty. And when God stretches out his hand tonight, that hand will touch you. And when the hand of the Lord touches you, all the works of Satan, they are taken away from your life in Jesus' name. And then the mighty works of God, they'll be done in your life. Look at that, you see, by the straight forth arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. What he's saying is, from now, till you see Jesus face to face, there'll be no problem that cannot be solved in your life. There will be no sickness that cannot be healed in your life. There will be no poverty that will remain abiding there forever in your life. There will be no difficulty that will not be dissolved in Jesus' name. There will be no family problem or family disagreement that will not have solution in your life in Jesus' name. 
there will be no fear in your heart that you will not turn to faith in Jesus' name. Because it says from now on in your life, there is nothing too hard for the Lord. Look at verse 27. Verse 27, it says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Tell me now, is there anything too hard for me? You didn't answer? The Lord is saying tonight, He brought you for a face to face experience, a face to face manifestation, a face to face visitation. And He's asking you, as you are there tonight and you are looking at this mountain and looking at this sickness and looking at this difficulty, the Lord is asking you, Here we are face to face. Tell me, is there anything too hard for me? Give me the answer. Verse 38, in verse 38 it says, And they shall be my people, and I will be their God. They shall be my people, and I will be their God. They shall be my people, and I will be their God. What does that mean? What it means is, if there's any Pharaoh, that is tying you down. If there's semi Pharaoh that is uh, kind of oppressing you, enslaving you, imprisoning you, the Lord is telling that Pharaoh tonight, let my people go. Because they shall be my people. Let my people go and I will be their God. And let them come and serve me. Every sin and every rope and chain and fetters and shackles that tied you down. They are broken tonight in Jesus' name. If they are sending the Nebuchadnezzar that is making a furnace of fire. If there's any relative or any descendant of Nebuchadnezzar that is trying to throw you, people of God, into the furnace of fire, the Lord is saying, let my people go. Let my people go. You will not be born by the fire of Nebuchadnezzar in Jesus' name. A landlord that wanted to drive you out, you didn't go out because of that. He went somewhere to use this and to use that. I cancel that power in your life tonight. I neutralize all the curse, all the yoke that they brought upon your life. I neutralize that tonight in Jesus' name. Their fire will not burn you. Their river will not draw you. Their stone or their oppression, their burning will not depress you and destroy you in Jesus' name. Verse 39, and I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me forever for the good of them and of their children after them. God will bless you. It will bless your children. Every concern you have, the Lord will resolve everything in Jesus' name. And I will make, what kind of covenant is this? I said, what kind of covenant is he making with you? I will make an everlasting covenant with them. That I will not turn away from them. He will not forsake you. He will not leave you. Anytime you open your mouth like this, you tell God whatever you need, the Lord will say, I am here for you tonight. He's here for you in Jesus' name. He says, but I will put my fear in their hearts that they shall not depart from me. The Lord says, others are backsliding. He says, but I'm going to do something for you. You will not backslide. He said, I will put something inside you, my fear in them, my honor in them, my glory in them. I'll put the great faith of the Lord in them, that they shall not depart from me, says the Lord. You will not depart from the Lord in Jesus' name. There is a power that keep, will keep you stable. A power that will keep you steady. A power that will keep you committed for the rest of your life to the Lord in Jesus' name. 
chapter 33, verse 3, call unto me, and I will answer. Call unto me, and I will answer. Mother, you have a child whose brain is turned the other direction, march. Call unto God tonight, the Lord will answer you. Lady, you see what's in the bed at night? Tonight, this thing is stopping. I said tonight, this thing is stopping. Call unto me, and I will answer thee. Noise in your head, noise in your ears. They want to drive you mad. I say, God forbid. I said, God forbid. Call unto me, and I will answer thee. Answer is coming tonight in Jesus' name. You walk a little, you fall down. Walk a little, you fall down. In the name of Jesus, rise and walk steady in Jesus' name. Call unto me, and I will answer thee. And I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. It's coming your way. But six, behold, I will bring it else and kill. The Lord will kill you. The Lord will heal you. And I will kill them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Peace and truth will reign in your life in Jesus' name. But eight, and I will cleanse them from all their iniquity. Thereby they, shall, they have sinned against me, and I will pardon all their iniquities whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me. Guilt and condemnation always follow you. Tonight, total forgiveness. Tonight, total cleansing. You know, always confessing sin. God, I'm sorry, I'm a sinner. God, I'm sorry, I'm a sinner. From tonight, you are a child of God. From tonight, you are a saint of God. All that guilt, all that condemnation, God will wipe everything permanently and perfectly in Jesus' name. Verse 9, and it shall be to me a, a name of joy. You will be a child of joy. A praise and an, an honor before all the nations of the earth. We shall hear all the good that I will do unto them. Something, something good is coming. You see that now? All the good that I'll do unto them, and they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. Those are the promises. They're going to be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. Number three, our prayer to the Almighty. Our prayer to the Almighty. We're not praying to somebody who is weak, somebody who is poor, somebody who cannot even help himself, somebody who cannot work miracle. We're praying to the Almighty God who can work miracle. And God is up to it tonight. I say God is up to it tonight. All one, miracle is coming. All two, your receivers of miracles. All three, it is yours in Jesus' name. All four, miracle upon miracle. I said miracle upon miracle. All five is coming your way. All six is coming your way. All seven, signs and wonders. All eight, miracles and deliverances. All nine, what your ears have never heard, what your eyes have never seen, the things that have never entered into the hearts of men, God is bringing your way in Jesus' name. Outside, everywhere, outside, everywhere, miracle, signs and wonders. Everywhere, anywhere you are now, we're almost ready to pray, almost ready to pray. We're now plunging into the river of miracle, into the ocean of miracle. Our prayer to the Almighty, our prayer to the, tell me, our prayer to the, tell me out loud, our prayer, tell me, to the Almighty. In Isaiah chapter 65, 
Isaiah chapter 65, we're looking at verse 24. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 24. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. What he promised, it shall come to pass. It is coming to pass tonight. I said it is coming to pass tonight. Get ready now, get ready now. Before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Are you ready? A miracle is coming your way. I said, are you ready? Why don't you stand up? Why don't you stand up? Tonight is the night of miracle. The night of the supernatural. The night of signs and wonders. It shall be. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Before the call, I will answer. Before the call, I will answer. And while they are speaking, I will do it for them. I will do it for them. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, you are the candidate for miracle tonight. Salvation is there. Salvation is there. Restoration is there. Just the moment you say this, Jesus said it's done. The Father says it's done. The Almighty says it is done. It is done. I want to be healed. It's done. I want to be delivered. It's done. I need a child. It's done. I need a husband. It's done. I need a wife. It's done. I need a job. It's done. I need to be healed to be delivered. It's done. All this insanity I want you to clear away. It is done. The dumb to speak. It's done. The deaf to hear, it's done. The lame to rise up and walk, it's done. The blind to open his eyes and see, it's done. Before they call, before they call, I will answer. Before they call, I will answer. While they're yet speaking, then I will hear. While they're yet speaking, then I will hear. It's done, it's done, it's done. Believe that, accept that, accept that. Your miracle is near, your miracle is near, your miracle is near. There's a confirmation tonight. There is a confirmation tonight. There is a confirmation tonight. There is a confirmation in your life, in your body, in your family. And it's there tonight. Confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. Just tell the Lord. It says, before they call, I will answer. Before they call, I will answer. Before they call, I will answer. And while they're yet speaking, while they're yet speaking, while they're yet speaking, it says, I will hear. What he promised, he has given you tonight, and it's done. What he promised, he has given you tonight, and it's done. What he promised, he has given you tonight, and it's done. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord. It's your night of the supernatural. It's your night of wonders. It's your night of miracle. Face to face with the Almighty. Face to face with the Almighty. Face to face with the Almighty. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, I'm not going to be a spectator. I said I'm not going to be a spectator. I came and I'm going to be a receiver. I'm going to be a receiver. Hall one, will any miracle take place there? Hall two, will any miracle happen there? All three, anybody going to receive miracle there? All four, any partaker there? All five, any receiver there? All six, any participant of miracles there? All seven, any miracle receiver there? All eight, any miracle receiver there? All nine. All nine. All nine. Any miracle receiver there? Everywhere miracle. Everywhere miracle. Everywhere miracle. Raise up those signs. When you hear the final amen, grab it, receive it, and shout it. It is done. It is done. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because tonight is a night of face-to-face -face with the Almighty. 
And I pray that the Almighty will roll away every problem from every life in Jesus' name. Guilt and condemnation vanish away in Jesus' name. Doubt get away in Jesus' name. Assurance of salvation. Assurance of forgiveness. Assurance of eternal life. Oh Lord, put it in every heart in Jesus' name. Healing. 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 Make it everyone's portion in Jesus' name. The swelling in any part of your body, on the head, in the throat, in the belly, and here, elephantiasis, all that swelling, I command you right now, come out in Jesus' name. Blindness, that spirit of blindness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Deafness, dumbness, I command that, come out in Jesus' name. A miracle of speaking. A miracle of hearing. Perform it for every one of them right now in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS, I cancel that. I destroy that. And I pray the power of the Almighty will take the HIV away in Jesus' name. Kidneys begin to work well. Levers begin to work well. Lord, I pray that you purify the system of everyone, the body of everyone, even now in Jesus' name. That leprosy, skin disease, I command you, be cleansed and be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, those who are lame, those who have anything wrong with their structure, with their bones, with their body, I pray your power will touch them right now. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Miracle on your body. Miracle in your family. Miracle in your business. Miracle in your marriage. Miracle everywhere in you, around you, upon you right now. In Jesus' name. Before we called, he answered. While we were still speaking, the Lord has heard us. It is done. It is done. We thank you, Lord, because we know it's done. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. I have received. I have received. I have received. I have received. It is done in Jesus' name. Check it up. It's there. Check it up. Check it up. Check it up. And as to see what the Lord has done, they will say, praise the Lord and give us a shout of amen and hallelujah. Something great is happening right there now. Right there now. All one check up, all two check up, all three check up, all four check up, five check up, six check up, seven check up, eight check up, nine check up, outside anywhere you are check up, a miracle is there by you.